Welcome to another video. Today's video, we are going to be talking about Stream Elements chatbots. This will be an extremely basic and just an overview of how it works and how you can set them up. And I think more advanced, we, if people are interested, we might look at doing another more advanced tutorial. Until then, guys, let's get into it. So guys, we're just jumping in to Stream Elements here. I've signed in as myself. So this is the bot that I use. You can use uh, bots like Nightbot, Moobot, uh, Streamlabs have their own bot as well. But I use Stream Elements because it's like a one-stop shop and I don't like having a thousand bots in my channel. So when we are creating new chat commands, um, I just go down here to bot and uh, so there's this section here we've got modules user management chat commands spam filters and timers the one I use the most is chat commands and timers so let's have a look at the chat commands first so if we click on here we have default commands these are the ones that have already been set up by stream elements ones that a lot of people already use which is great and fantastic custom commands user management and variables now I get a lot of what I do from variables as well um, but the default commands obviously you can turn them on and off and uh, it shows you which ones are up on and off so everyone has access so everyone in chat followers non followers mods um, streamers all have access to use these ones here um, so if you scroll down a bit further we also have moderators so these are the ones that only moderators have access to so moderators of your twitch chat twitch chat um, super moderator is more about access from stream elements and you can add these and do whatever you like with these as well you can change them all so if we just go in view here uh, we've got a follow age eh, giveaway let's have a look here so here you've got your command name you've also got who has access to it if it's going to cost anything um, how many times if I was to debate this in chat it's gonna make 15 seconds the command cooldown so I can't use it for another 15 seconds and the whole of chat can't use it for five so that's pretty cool enable command when stream is online offline or both a lot of the times I have it only as online um, depends what it is only because a lot of people pop in in the offline when you're offline to see anyway so that's cool so you can change these as you wish look at these turn them on and off uptime watch time um, all these different ones one I use probably the most is the custom commands now the custom commands is what I use to control most of or uh, for information in chat anyway so these ones you can add your own your own ones um, headset if somebody wanted to know what headset I was using controller I need to change that so let's update this one so you just click on it controller everyone has access to it and at the moment we are using a controller mod a u save and so if someone it does exclamation mark controller then it will show them um, that will give them a response now if you go to advanced settings you can again you have your off online offline and both but here you have um, how the bot should send the message so it'll just say control mods are you but if you want it to reply you can change it to reply so it'll say miss AMR comma controller mods are you so it replies directly to whoever put the command in chat whisper is it'll send the person whoever put it in chat a private message on twitch again the same things um lurk here you go so this one is one that is a little bit different to normal 
This one is exclamation mark lurk. That's the command name. Everyone has it. But what I've also done in this one is, um, so had three, I've got three responses that whoever puts it in exclamation mark lurk could get one of three responses. So it's random pick. Thanks for lurking. You are the best. And then it's the person, whoever did the lurk. Oh, yes, you, you, yes, you are amazing. Thank you for the lurk with their username again. My uh, lurkers are superheroes in disguise with their username again. Lurky McLurk Lurk, thank you. So this is something else that you can also put in as well. Just switches things up and changes the response. So it's not the same stamp response all the time. So that's good as well. Again, it's just say, no, there's no lurk alternative for that. Um, so that's a good one to show what you can do as well. So random pick picks one of those that are there. This is another one that I've also shared this with a number of other streamers as well. So that um, if someone comes in the chat and wants to know how many wins that they have, it's exclamation mark wins. But I've also set it up so that if someone comes in and says command keywords, any wins, any wins with a question mark, any wins tonight, any wins tonight as well. So they trigger that command, which is pretty cool. Um, but this is how this one works. So these two set wins and wins works together. When I type set wins in the chat, it'll be set wins space the number of wins that I've had. So it's one or four or, but then the response to that is like that. So it counts the wins. Only problem with this is that you actually have to set the wins yourself. So you can't, it's not something you have to reset it and set it. So if I just put this in here, go in here, I don't know if this is set to both. Set wins zero. And then in here, set wins, uh, let's go three. Woo, chalk through me up, let's go. But then if I come in and put in here wins, There we go. It's just taken a bit. So that's another one. And then if we have to set wins, I have to remember to change it as well. But these two work together. So it counts the wins and then it responds with if someone types in wins. Um, I've set this to moderator. So any of my moderators can actually set the win. So if I win a game and I have a mod in chat, they can set it for me, but not public the just general viewers can't so obviously you've got your Instagram ones as well that just respond I do recommend that you put in the full hyperlink in here this will automatically turn to a hyperlink in chat so that people can just click on it they don't have to go to Instagram and search you all the different brackets as well again that takes it directly to a website growl it's just got the setup of that i mean you can put anything pretty much in here as well and then if we go over here to user management just shows who has access to who's the moderator of my channels um this is your variables as this is where you can when in your custom commands you can change how it responds so these are some of the different things as so the response you can use these and it brings back whatever it is that these actually point to. So this is the name count wins value. So this is where I get count deaths 300 so that when it comes back, if you put in exclamation mark deaths, you just have to put that in there as well. The other probably one that is probably good for people is the shout out one. this one so check out number one which is the user that has that I have put so it says here shout out and then I put exclamation mark shout out space then whoever it is that I'm doing a shout out for and it returns in here this number one whoever that is and it then shows what game they were playing and puts their username in there as well 
so that way it puts it straight in the chat so people can click on it if they would like to go and give them a follow as i've got so as an alias so exclamation mark so it's just a lot quicker so that's another one that i would recommend having set up as well the next section is timers so ones that you see that just pop up randomly in the stream that happen every so often so for me social media all my social medias it happens only online so only if i'm online every 40 minutes and it doesn't matter how many people have chatted it pops up anyway so you can add that it might require fifth like five lines for it to activate that's my social media one as well and this one again you can just you can add a new timer timer name might be i'll just add the twitter one twitter 2.0 Go and follow me on Twitter and then you just type in there your Twitter name online at interval so every how often you want to do it now for me I don't like to bombard chat with lots of publications of promotional stuff that happens I think it just clutters chat and you can't actually see who's in chat because there's so many bots messages that are happening so i do prefer if we just go i kind of keep them they all happen at the same time if they do happen but i don't have a lot of bots unless it's something like a tournament is happening and i can't get to chat um follow no so social media is probably my bigger one that i have if i am playing a tournament miss emma is currently playing a tournament we'll be focused on the game thank you for your support i'll be with you in a moment so that's I turn that on if I'm playing. Um, I mean, I do have Twitch Prime stuff, but I don't actually have that turned on. This is the bracket that also I can have that. It's a normal uh, user chat bot or user interface, but I also have it as a timer so that you can, it just pops up every now and then. I just turn them on and off as I please. They're pretty self-explanatory. Um, the other thing that I do recommend is that you do join the Stream Elements Discord channel because on the Discord channel um, I always ask questions about how to get things work or what variable I need to use for these and they are very helpful and quite eager to help. The other one that you can use as well is bot modules that appear in your chat. So I always have chat alerts, get notified whenever an activity happens. So followers, tips, hosts, subscribers, cheers, raids, redemptions and merch. All um, If something that happens, it gets notified in my chat. That's all I really wanted to go through for the moment. Um, this was just specifically a video around chat setting up chat bots and setting up uh, timers and um, chat commands so if you do have any questions chuck them in the comments below and i'll have a look and see if i can help you out otherwise stream elements discord i'll also put that a link i'll also put a link in the chat for them as well but if you do have any questions don't forget i do stream every day except Wednesdays and Fridays at the moment so please stop by hit that follow button as well I would appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe and like button on this video it will help me out immensely if you do have any requests for videos in regards to stream elements just throw them in the comment section below as well and I'll do my best to get them out to you in the meantime guys have a great day bye